It is the time of year that every teacher spouse loves to hate on. It is summer break. Let's get this summer started. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Lisa and this is Lisa on Life. And today I am taking you along with me as I get ready to avoid that summer slide with my own kids. A lot of kids over summer break lose roughly about 40% from what the research is showing of the skill that they gained during the school year. And if anything, I want to avoid that slide completely, if not have gains. My daughter really struggled with reading this year, so one of the things that I plan to work on with her are sight words. I want her going into the school year having a pretty decent bank of sight words so that is something that I'm going to work with her on this summer and also I just am feeling the need to get myself a lot more organized than I am right now so one of the things that I'm going to do is to get a planner I am at my local Target going to run in, see what they have. I need to get some ink for the printer and then I'm going to check those out. My students, you might notice my nails, my students painted my nails yesterday. It was the last day of school and we had a fun fair and my students painted my nails and it's already chipping which is why I don't really like to paint my nails all that often because I think that when it's chipping it just looks bad. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to get to this and I'll check in with you guys when I come out. All right, I'm out of Target, and I got an extra large ink. I just use the Up and Up brand because it works the same for my printer. I have my kids do a reading and math worksheet every weekday while they're on summer break to hopefully keep those skills sharp. So I got this ink for the printer because I like to stay ahead. I'm not getting like a low ink warning or anything, but I don't... I, I try to shop on Saturdays and I don't want to go out the rest of the week so I have the feeling just in case something should happen and we run low I won't have to worry about running out and then I bought this little planning calendar I thought it was cute I like the dots and it also is tabbed so I'll be able to go down by um, by the month which is really awesome because for my part-time job I'll be able to just kind of carry this with me um, and just kind of quickly write notes, maybe keep it in my purse. <laughs> yeah, right, like I carry a purse, I don't carry a purse. I don't, I never have a purse on me. But I'll be able to keep this on me um, in my book bag that I take around with me to, to anything I go to. So I'm going to keep this in there. It was six bucks. For half a year still, I, for six bucks, I'm fine with that. So next up. I am going to hit up the Dollar Tree because they are my favorite place to look for some other things that I do with my kids. So let's go shopping. Let's shop. Let's go. Okay, before we go in, I think my Dollar Tree is giving something away today because it is jumping here or either people are on a tiny budget right now I understand the feeling I have been of I, I have been overspending and spending like I am on Congress I really need to hone myself in with that thus the Dollar Tree but also I really love their stuff now I do have to say that I do want to find flashcards uh, at least addition subtraction multiplication division for my kids I'll see what other ones they have when we are in there. But here's my thing. I also kind of want to get some simple readers for my daughter. She's just an emergent reader and she's really struggling. So I really want to kind of strengthen her and her reading skills over the summer. My son needs to really work on comprehension, but I find that across the board as one of his teachers. Uh, I find that comprehension skills are kind of like um, not that great. So. If there's anything I can find in there for comprehension for like middle school, I'm going to get it. I am also going to look for simple readers, but here's my thing. You can buy all the fancy things you want. If you do not actually use them, then what's the point? So for the past couple summers, like I've always bought a ton of stuff. Like, oh, this is great. We're going to do all this stuff. We're going to... It ends up not happening. It ends up not happening. So 
If you are a parent and you are wanting to avoid the slide as well and you are going to try to do things similar, uh, have the student, have your kids work on something every day. I said, almost said the students. I'm still in teacher mode. Yesterday was our last day. So today's the first day of summer. I'm still in teacher mode. If you're going to do something with your kids, keep it simple. Just keep it simple because if you don't keep it simple, if you make it too complex, it's not going to get done. Just, just take it from the queen of experience. If you buy all the fancy things and do nothing with them, all it does is collect dust. So let's go shopping in there. Let's go. So of course my luck. There are no edition flashcards. There are subtraction, multiplication, and division, but there's no addition. So what I got are these beginning sounds for my daughter and this language arts workbook because language arts is not her strong suit, so that's really where I really want to strengthen her. And then I'm going to grab this edition one right here. Bought you a clip so that I can talk hands-free and show you all of the things that I bought. But it doesn't fit in my car, so of course that would happen. So here we go. What I got from the Dollar Tree, aside from the clip, that won't work in my car. I bought multiplication, division, subtraction flashcards for my kids. Obviously, this one's going to be for my daughter. Oh, jeez, hair. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, subtraction for my daughter and for my son will keep his subtraction sharp. Division for my son, multiplication for my son. He's going into seventh grade and my daughter's going into second. So for my daughter, I bought um, reading readiness handwriting for both of them because my son's handwriting sucks so we're gonna work on that over summer um, it's part of his ADHD he just doesn't slow down enough to, to properly form letters uh, morning starters for my daughter I'll just print ones off for my son an addition booklet because I couldn't find flash cards I'll have to either um, look somewhere else or make them which is fine with me um, beginning sounds because she was having trouble with her with her um, phonics I don't blame her I was taught whole word um, hooked on phonics did not work for me um, little activity workbook with language arts because she struggled uh, time and money just for fun and then the other handwriting book um, yes it says K through 2 but there is never a bad age to work on improving handwriting and letter formation. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is all that I got today to help my kids avoid their summer slide. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.